Hey folks, welcome to another episode on the vlog channel, Life and Mike. I thought I'd just run through what I'm growing this year. It's been a bit of a frantic year in terms of I was very late putting out seeds and growing them inside and in the grow house over there, the little greenhouse. It's just, it was a bit of a, a, a crazy year. So I didn't really do much. I just kind of threw it all together. If you watched my last video, you will know that I'm not at my last house, which was, which was the farmhouse. I moved house and I explained everything in that video. So you can, if you haven't watched it, just head on back to the previous upload from this one and everything is explained there. So this is obviously at the, uh, the new house. It's not so new. I've been here two years and there's still things I've been doing to it and things I want to show you. But for now, I just wanted to talk to you about what I'm growing, why I'm growing it and the space that I have. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So to give you an idea of the actual growing space that I've got here, it is 15 feet across there by six and a half feet across the kind of width. And uh, I've just kind of crammed everything in this year. I was gonna separate it, but I thought I'd just throw it all in and we'll see what happens. Also at the end of the video, I will explain about my water catchment and what I'm doing. So over the back here is the courgettes. Now, last year I made the mistake of putting the courgettes at the other end of the veg patch. And what happened was because they got so big, the sun comes round from the east over there, south facing gardens, it comes around for the east, sets in the west over here, and these were getting all the light to begin with. And because they're so big, they just blocked out all the light for the rest of the plants and nothing else grew well at all. So I've put these at the far back of the flower bed so that obviously they, they get big and then the rest of the stuff still gets all the sunlight. Now in between these, so the courgettes are actually flowering right now, but in between them, I've got some aubergines. They're getting a bit smothered by the massive leaves of the courgettes but I can cut some of these leaves back now and that will free up space for the for the aubergines to grow. Um, they've still got a while to go yet they need to be about up here before they'll start growing the actual aubergines but we we are only beginning of July so we've got plenty of time for those to come through. So you can see if I just go through here there's the flowers for the oh one just came off for the courgette and that's the size of the courgettes at the moment. So they're, they're getting to a really nice, like that, when they're quite young and small like that, that's when they're the best, I find. Just small ones. And the more you pick them, the more they start growing. But you can see the size of the leaves on these things. Uh, they're massive and they have big, long stalks to them. So they take up a lot of area. If I get in there, you can see. There's the courgette there, the flower. Another courgette there, the flower. So these are going to be ready to, another week or so, another week, and they'll, they'll go ready to cut. They'll be ready to cook. Uh, although you can eat, cut them, cook them like that now, they'll be ready and nice and sweet. But I'd rather them a bit bigger. If I left them even bigger, they'll turn into marrows. And uh, sometimes I do that, but they go crazy. You can always never have too many courgettes. So I've got four courgettes here, which is a bit too many really for the space. But I'm going to be able to harvest loads of those. And then, like I say, here is the aubergines. In, in between here is the aubergines ready to grow. I think, so you guys call aubergines eggplant potentially depending on where you're from um we call them aubergines over here and i think courgettes you might call zucchini pretty sure you call it zucchini so that's what that is and then over here you might see it it's i need to get a little um something for it to climb up build something we have some cucumber so in the corner cucumber is ready to grow up last year I grew a bit more than this but I'm just going for the one this year and that's going to be climbing up I need to get this right up got some weeding to do to, to climb up the fence a bit there then we can get some cucumber next up in line from the courgette is the spring onions and these are getting soon ready to pick now I would have in hindsight like I said I was rushing I would have taken these out and thinned them out there's about three or four growing quite close together, which means they'll grow quite small. So I should have picked them out and spread them out a lot more. But like I say, I went a bit crazy this year and just put them all together. Over on the next section, these have just been planted up because it's warm enough now. They've got a good established root system. This is chilies and peppers here, mostly peppers. And then over the back is the tomatoes. They've just been planted out yesterday as well. Some of them did have flowers on them. I can't see any more actually but they're going to need some supporting poles. Oh, over the back there, there's a flower just in the middle of your screen. You might see that little yellow flower. So these are going to be fruiting soon, these tomatoes, but I need to get them ready with some poles. Then I've got carrots here. These are a little bit too far gone. You can see there, they're starting to shoulder out the ground. 
and there's too much foliage above the ground i've done carrots a lot before um so yeah that's i would have picked them a bit earlier they're going to get quite rooty dirty flavor to them that that sort of musky flavor the bigger they get so that's getting quite big and then i went a bit crazy with the lettuce i need to cut some of this carrot back there's my lettuce again i needed to thin these out but my daughter helped plant these seeds so you can see why they're then planted over here and over here and there's plants growing all over the place with the lettuce she just sprinkled the seeds everywhere so um she's only three by the way guys so yeah got the lettuce growing there and then over here we've got pumpkins ready for halloween in october these are actually growing quite well now these uh these again my daughter helped plant these are more for her and her pumpkin carving and then I've got some onion up here in the end. I didn't really go mad on the onions this year, but this is going well beyond what I would eat for the onion down there. But the reason I'm growing it like this is because I'm gonna harvest the seeds for the onion seeds. They're not ready yet, but these, that's exactly why I just put that one onion in there and they're both, both coming into flower now and I'm hoping to harvest these seeds, but they are, like I say, not ready, but that will give me seeds for next year to plant loads of onions. So that's sort of the tour of it. It's been a bit crazy. I've gone a bit a bit mad and just thrown everything together. I'd normally space things out a bit better than that, but it works. So like I say, it was a bit of a rush when I went and did all the seeds and I was filming. I had my son who was not even a year yet. He was kind of like eight months old when I started it. It was all a bit manic. And um, yeah, I'm just, it's a nice space. It's big enough for me to manage at the moment. I'd like bigger in the previous house. I had a much bigger great in the farmhouse I had a much bigger vegetable plot with raised beds everywhere and I got much more yield from my veg but for this year certainly for this summer I'm happy with what I've got um, and I'm going to start to put out some uh, some winter things ready for the winter winter lettuce and things like that got the pumpkins obviously I'll make some pumpkin soup sorry it's really windy the weather just doesn't want me to film today honestly it's been torrential rain thunderstorms and now the wind is just blowing into the microphone so it's just not having it um, yeah like I say Everything's been a bit crazy, but I'm, I'm sort of pleased with what I managed to do here in the little time that I had. Let me just show you my water collection. I'll update this as I go, by the way, throughout the winter months and what I'm going to be growing on here on the Life of Mike channel. But this building here that comes off my garage, that's my garage there. This is actually a workshop and, well, <laughs> it's meant to be a workshop. It's a bit of a dumping zone for all my gear, my bushcraft gear at the moment, and it needs fully organizing. And I'm going to be doing that on a, a little episode series here. I'm going to be, I say renovating, actually making the workshop into a workshop for all my projects and stuff that I'm going to be doing. Knife sharpening, maybe some knife making I'd like to do, potentially some forging and stuff. I don't know yet, but stay tuned because that is going to be something in the episodes. So here's my water collection. So it's got a lovely big roof here with a good surface area. I haven't measured it, but it's a decent enough space. So runoff comes from the garage, goes into that main one here. I then have an overflow so that when this one gets full, it runs into the secondary backup one. And then I have, and I'm still working on this, all this roof here and the water's gonna run off here. It's, I've not fixed it up and finished it yet, but that's gonna come across here into some more water butt storage. So I should probably have two or three more of these and that will be my water storage plenty enough for the vegetables uh, and saves me using the mains water which with the bills that we're having in the UK at the moment is horrendously high with all our utility bills and everything that's going on so the plan is to get as much water storage as possible and I've got the front of the house as well to do so this is the, the kind of grow house let me show you so this is a little thing which is just where I it, it's like a little mini greenhouse cheap cheap sort of wood perspex um, but it's handy for keeping those, that temperature up when I'm growing the tomatoes and the peppers especially. Uh, so I've just got all that there. I've got some seeds at the moment that, whoopsie, just went everywhere. Lettuce and that one and pumpkins. Um, but that's been really handy in the bad weather as well to just at night shut it down and keep the temperature hot in the day, open it up, let the air get in there. Just like a greenhouse, but obviously miniature. But yeah, so this I'm going to move and put it on the side of the, the back of the house, which is south facing, so it still get loads of sunlight. And then I'm just going to have water storage all along the back here. And hopefully that should be enough in the amount of rain we do get to uh, carry on. But there's lots of plans for this building here. So keep an eye out on the series. I hope to be starting it soon. Next to this, by the way, is my log store, which this year will feature the first 
seasoned wood from my own woodland, which I bought nearly two years ago, over two years ago now. So it's been seasoning in my woods for a while. I've brought some back. I'm really excited to use it this winter for the first time it's been seasoning. I don't, I know it sounds strange, but it's just, it's a, it's a strange thing to get excited about firewood. But the whole process of YouTube and everything over the last 10 years of me being able to save up enough money to buy my own woodland, to then be able to harvest my own wood and then have my own firewood from trees that I've cut down or have fallen down in a storm. It's just really exciting. So this is where the log store is, although I am going to move it nearer to the other side of the house, nearer to where the wood burner is in the house. So it's exciting times. And yeah, that's my, my veg patch. <laughs> Show us your veg patch. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's a bit bit crash bang wallop, a bit of a short one, but thank you so much for watching. I'll update you where I can on the gardening stuff if you like that kind of thing. I've always been into it. Um, yeah, take care and I'll see you in the next episode. The lettuce, by the way, so nice. Mmm. You can't be just freshly picked lettuce. It's just lovely. Bit of mud on there, but... I think my dog wheeze up it sometimes as well, so gotta be careful of that.